In this video we're installing cooling jets in our C11 engine. You need the pistons installed before you do this. And the hole there to the left is where your bolt goes through. So I'll usually just put it in and try and get it started. And once it's started I'll put it in position and then tighten it by hand. They should sit between the two recessed edges there and you'll see it sit down later in the video in the right spot. This one's misaligned for whatever reason and I'm going to undo it and put it in again. I've only got a socket and ex an extension on that and I'm just winding it back and forth with my hand until I'm happy with it before I torque it up. You don't want to force these in. You can see now that it's located properly between the two edges and then you torque the bolts up to 35 newton meters. I put a bit of thread lubricant on these bolts before I tighten them up. The piston jet tubes are aligned from factory and if they're bent you'll lose lubrication and cooling capacity. I like to put them on a bench all together and compare them against each other to see if any of them have been bent. The cooling jet has three main jobs. It sprays oil on the liner walls for lubrication, it lubricates the gudgeon pin, and it also cools down the piston from underneath. So the cooling jet lubricates the liner walls, it lubricates the gudgeon pin, and it also cools the bottom of the piston. There's a tiny little hole in the bottom of the piston which one tube shoots into the other tube shoots towards the top of the conrod and gudgeon pin if you like this video click and subscribe there's more videos on the c11 in the rebuild playlist